Hi guys, so for this video I'll be using a crochet hook in size 6.5 millimeters. You should use a crochet hook that is recommended for your yarn. So I'll start by making a slip knot, then I'll chain 18. So now on the sixth chain from the hook, I'll make three double crochets. I'll chain one, then I'll skip two chains and through the third chain I'll make three double crochets. I'll chain one, I'll skip two chains and through the third chain I'll make three double crochets. I'll chain one, I'll skip two chains and through the third chain I'll make three double crochets. I'll chain one. So now to finish off row one, right there through that last chain, I'll make one half double crochet. I'll chain one and I'll cut this yarn. For the next row, I'll use yarn in different color. And right here through this half double crochet loop, I'll chain three and I'll make two double crochets. I'll chain three. Through that same loop I'll make three double crochets. I'll chain three. Through that same loop I'll make three double crochets. Now I'll chain one. Through this next two chain space I'll make three double crochets. I'll chain one. Through the next two chain space I'll make three double crochets. I'll chain one. Through the next two chain space I'll make three double crochets. I'll chain one. Now right here through this five chain loop I'll make three double crochets. I'll chain three. Then right there through that same loop I'll make three double crochets. I'll chain three. Through that same loop I'll make three double crochets. So now I'll chain one then right there through that one chain space I'll make three double crochets. I'll chain one through the next one chain space I'll make three double crochets. I'll chain one. 
through the next one chain space I'll make three double crochets. I'll chain one. Now right here through this third chain I'll make a slip stitch. Now I'll chain one and I'll cut this yarn. So this completes row two. Now for row three I'll use yarn in different color. Then I'll insert my hook right here through this three chain space. Then I will chain three. Then right there through that same three chain space I'll make two double crochets. I'll chain three. Through that same three chain space I'll make three double crochets. I'll chain one, then right there through that next three chain space I'll make three double crochets. I'll chain three. Through that same three chain space I'll make three double crochets. I'll chain one. In the next one chain space I'll make three double crochets. I'll chain one. In the next one chain space three double crochets. Chain one. In the next one chain space three double crochets. Chain one. In the next one chain space three double crochets. Chain one. In the next three chain space three double crochets. Chain three. Then right there. Through that same three chain space I'll make three double crochets. Chain one. In the next three chain space I'll make three double crochets. Chain three. Then right there through that same three chain space I'll make three double crochets. So this is how it looks so far. So as you can see we will be increasing on these four corners. So yeah then I'll chain one in the next one chain space three double crochets. Chain one in the next one chain space three double crochets. Chain one. In the next one chain space, three double crochets. Chain one. In the next one chain space, three double crochets. Then I'll chain one, and right here through this third chain. I'll make a slip stitch. I'll chain one and I'll cut this yarn. So we repeat row three until our work measures our desired length. And you can see where we are increasing. In the first row we did not increase, it was just a foundation row. And then in the second row we increased right here these two corners. We have a three chain space here, a three chain space, then on the other side we have a three chain space and three chain space. And then for row three, right here where we have these three chain spaces from row two, we have increased 
in each three chain space. So right here, through this th first three chain space, I made three double crochets, then I chained three, then right there through that same three chain space, I made three double crochets. I chained one in the next three chain space I have increased again so I've made three double crochets I chained three then in the same three chain space I've increased we did the same thing on the other side right here and for all four increased again so right here this three chain space I've made uh, three double crochets I chained three then through the same three chain space I've made three double crochets I chained one in the next one chain space I've made three double crochets I chained one, then through this next three chain space, I increased again, so I made three double crochets, I chained three, then through that same three chain space, I made three double crochets. So and then for all five, we increased again, so in this three chain space, I made three double crochets, I chained three, then through the same three chain space, I made three double crochets. Then I chained one, in the next one chain space, I make three double crochet, I chained one, in the next one chain space, I made three double crochets, I chained one in the next three chain space I've made three double crochets I chained three then through the same three chain space I've made three double crochets so we will increase on every three chain space so we repeat this until our work measures our desired length so that is all for today guys I hope you like this video and thank you so much for watching